a Queen's by the Minute exclusive. Good morning, everyone. For you, for you guys that don't know me, my name is Mike Papa, and I'm from Maspeth, and we're going through the same problems that you guys are going over here with this hotel in our community. So we want to join forces here and help you guys in your fight. And we're going to tell the truth about the propaganda video that Mr. Banks and Mr. de Blasio put out last week and what they actually did to the people that are living in that shelter over there when we were on our way. And we're not in this because we don't like the homeless. We're here to serve our community and to serve also the homeless. And that's Mr. Banks' job, and Mr. de Blasio is his boss. So these guys are responsible for the welfare and the well-being of them. And I'm going to tell you what he did to them. This man right here lives in the shelter that we protested at in Floral Park at the Quality Inn, owned by Mr. De ba Mr. Uh, Mr. Patel and run by Acacia Network, all right? This man lives in there and he's going to tell you the story of what they did when, when we were coming there to protest. Go ahead, tell him what you got. All right, then. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Aaron. They told me that you guys are here coming here to protest. Now, they didn't tell us it was going to be a peaceful protest. They told us it was going to be a violent protest. Wow. Now, we didn't know that. Who told you that? Um, that's DHS. Okay. Now, we, me and my family refused to leave. So they were telling us if we didn't leave, they were going to send us back to the intake center and take my child away. Wow. No. I refused to do any of that. I work for EMS. I volunteer for EMS for the city. I've been going through so many community board meetings and I've been actually listening to community board meetings so I decided, let me listen to Queens. I go everywhere to find who's in charge of community board meetings in Queens and so I finally find out what you guys are actually doing. You actually are helping us. The food, yes, they do provide food, but it's not really good food. My fiance and my child got through three times food poisoning because of the food. There is waste for food. Yes, they provide it, but it's not good food. They do not treat us right. They do threaten us to take, take our child away as a scare tactic. That's all they do is scare tactics every day. It's an everyday scare tactic unless you take them to court. Once you take them to court, it's different. I've taken them to court and now they're quiet. That's How long have every you been living there? For two weeks I've been living here, but I've been moved around a lot of times. How long um, have you been in the shelter system? Last year we were in the shelter system for a year, then they told us that we had to go back to, to a domestic violence location. I'm, I'm keeping keep trying what I'm doing. Anyways, the DHS is lying. The Blasio administration put up that video online on Twitter and Facebook. That is not true. Nobody was scared. We were just trying to find answers. They're trying to use you guys as bad guys. Secondly, you guys aren't bad guys. You're trying to help us. That's correct. I just want you guys to tell these guys inside that they are not alone. They are scared of DHS. They ain't scared of you. They're scared that they're going to lose their placement and they're going to have to go back to PATH. What PATH, is is an, PATH is an intake center up in the Bronx on 159th Street. 151-159th, I think it is. Near that Yankee is Stadium. I think that's it. Is that that it? Is okay. Which, by the way, is about seven blocks from where Mr. Patel just built the new facility that he's getting ready to open pretty soon, real close yeah. to the past. Now, the PATH intake center is... It's all right, not unless you're an MOS. Unlike me, I'm an MOS. Unlike everybody else, not unless you claim you're an MOS, they're going to treat you like garbage. What is an MOS? An MOS, MOS is saying that I work for EMS. Member of service. Member of service. It took me to state that I'm a member of service for them to respect me and to get what I need. If I didn't show them that I volunteered for EMS, they didn't care. They did not care at all. Just yesterday, last night, we got approved for housing because of you people. Yeah. Say that again. For Say it again. They don't want to hear that part. Yeah, for, for permanent housing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's what we're fighting for. We should catch it. Now, as far as the food part, I. Uh, I don't know how that's going to change, but I don't, I don't understand how people can eat that food and, and continue eating it if they're going to keep getting sick. Uh, even though I'm pulling money out of my pocket, it's not a problem. Do you feel like your child is safe in that shelter where you're staying over there in Florida Park? As long as I'm ready to fight, I feel she's safe. But if I'm not there, she's not safe. 